Woo! All right. Okay, guys, welcome to the Black Mike TV. Thanks for stopping by. This is your first time. Make sure you subscribe. If you already subscribed, thank y'all for coming back. Hit that bell notification if you haven't already. But today, we're going to get into my process of production. You're going to see my favorite doll, the main doll that I use. I'm going to show you guys a bit of my cheat codes and just the process of how it takes to make the Black Mike beat. Production is not a spectator sport. Some tend to get bored for girlfriends. They like to be in the studio, but they don't like to be in the studio. Hopefully you guys don't, uh, don't get too bored and I'm gonna make it fun for you guys, all right? So welcome, like I said, the blackest of mics uh, representing Black House Mixing. That is my company for mixing and mastering. If you need those services, any rappers, aspiring rappers, uh, producers that just want your stuff to knock sound a lot better, clearer, wider. Uh, definitely I'm here for that. So um, let's get into my DAW of choice. So my favorite DAW is Ableton, Ableton Live to be exact. So what I like to usually start with um, is, I like to start with some chords. So let's get into that. Open up rip chord. Big shout out to Graves too. If you guys don't have the Prism Pack, make sure y'all getting down with that Prism Pack. It's it's a super, super cheat code. Yeah, let's get into get into some sort of vibes. Let's see what we can come up with. <laughs> Highlight all these, which is, you know, hit the shortcut, quantize, boom. I'm not gonna walk you through the process because I'm sure to y'all kind of figure it out. And so, what I usually do after all this, because I, I do want to see the chorus so I can manipulate a few things. So, what I do is I arm this uh, this channel right here with the actual VST on it. And uh, what am I using? The OB dash X A V. Yeah, it's it's fire. I ain't able to track and just record it and it records the chords. That's one of the dope things about Ripcord. So once again, big shout out to my brother Graves. Genius. Alright, so we good on that. So as of right now, I really don't need Ripcord. What I tend to do sometimes is uh for inspiration for pace. I just go in my trusty uh folder of loops. Excuse me, not loops. Drum breaks. I mean, some real classic drum break uh, vibes. I just go at random to just find, to just get these, uh, these breaks. Just to be honest, like, uh, I just wait for inspiration to come together. Like, so it's my background as a, as a DJ, I just really be trying to mesh everything together and just to see what goes I can come up with. Let me get that down. Dude. All right, so I'm starting from right there. Well, let me put it to the, the beat first. All right, let me undo that because that was whack. I, I've been moving too fast for my own good sometimes. But, um, yeah, what else are we doing? I ain't change the algorithm so it don't sound so crazy. Okay. Never know what the outcome is. That's the beauty of it. I don't know where I'm going, but I know I'm going somewhere. And I sit down in front of this computer to go somewhere. 
not to go to a specific place, but to go somewhere new, dope, uh, and exciting. So I'm here just really figuring it out. So that brings me up to another point. So how do I figure it out? And what's the, uh, the program I like to use? XO. I like to figure it out with this. Prediction. Let me move this out the way. Get all these out the way. Because I kind of use these patterns. Well, I use the, uh, the step sequencer, rather. So after I found my, my sounds. Yeah, this process could sometimes take a long time. But uh, I love it because uh, every sound brings some sort of inspiration. Who knows what it'll bring. I'm just happy to be here, guys. I'm always trying to use uh, my push to do something like keep it a bit more fluid so I don't have to go back and forth from the computer, but I haven't quite gotten there yet. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to lay that down. <sighs> a lot of times I got to know when to stop, when to cut it off, because I can go forever. Girl. Yeah, what's your favorite bass? What you like using? Me? I really enjoy using Arteria's, uh, or the Moog. Arteria's version of the mini Moog. Because it's fire. It's getting on my nerves because it sounds so bright. It sounds so bright. What do I, what do I put on this? Okay, my little audio sound gooder. Decimort. I'm giving y'all all the all the vibes. And again, it's not really about the tools, it's about how you use them. So another little vibe I like to do is the uh, the the drum bus that always makes the drum sound crazy. So uh, all right, let me tune it. Here we go. Keep it moving along. I can do this forever. So let's see what we got. a low end out of that snare. Let me hear. Let me see what the guitar is going. Maybe bring this up. So that was like that. Just as a rule of thumb, try to save your work as you go along. I'm horrible at it. But one of the great things is that uh, Ableton auto saves it for me. So if it crashes right now, God forbid, my work is backed up. And yeah. 
this is probably the cautionary tale, for example, for you guys to know that you should be doing what I what I uh, recommended that you do. Because see this right here? This is not what you want. If y'all haven't already, make sure that y'all subscribe right at the bottom somewhere. Or just hit me with a comment, like, you know, what type of stuff you want to see, what you feel like I could have done better, what you messing with, what you not messing with, because we collaborating. If not this video, we're going to do the, the next one. So just make sure that you stay engaged and rock out with me, man, because we're going to have a lot of fun doing this, all right?